Hi there, Loy Macedo. Speaking to you from LoyMacedo.com. Who is Loy Macedo? Think Personal Branding. Um, in this video, I, I want to give you my thoughts about um, how family, how having a family or being with a family impacts your life. And by family, I'm not just talking of, your say, your mother and father. Uh, it can be, let's say, uh, your wife, spouse, children. So it, it depends who is staying with you. The main focus is if you are an individual and you're staying with members of your family, it does impact you. And in this video, I want to share with you my thoughts as to the predominantly the drawbacks. Okay, the drawbacks. Now, let me get one thing off uh, of my chest before you even assume or you say, oh, you know, you should not be with the family. There are a lot of perks and benefits to staying with the family, lots of them. And, um, you know, it's proven uh, through years of study that the individuals who stay together as a family, they have better family values and, you know, they are very closely knit. And it's family, uh, a family that stays together. You know, they say family that prays together, stays together. And then you have, obviously, if you see olden uh, movies, the family that sits at the table together, eats together, talks together. So there are benefits to having a family life. So I'm not one of those who says, no, there should not be any family life. There are a lot of benefits to it. However, if you are an individual like, for example, like me, who is ambitious uh, or obsessed about his career or who is different um, in terms of you know, my personality. I'm not I'm not the usual run of the will. I'm pretty sure there are some of you who may not have tattoos, but you are also different. Like, let's say someone who's a creative person, someone who is ambitious, someone who is a businessman. So these are different kind of personalities. Having a family can really, I mean, impact you in more ways than you know. I'll give you an example so as to make you understand and feel free to comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Now, um, see, today is Saturday. Okay, uh, right now the time is 5.44 in the morning. Now I got up, I, you know, I sleep in a separate room. My office is actually, my office, my studio is actually even my bedroom. I don't sleep with my wife. I, I sleep separate from my wife and baby because I get up at odd hours. I sleep at odd hours. Um, like today I got up at 3. I, I sleep sometimes. It can be even 1 o'clock in the night. and You know, so it's crazy. But obviously, my my kid, my baby has to go to school. So has to get up, sleep at eight, get up at, uh, you know, five or six. And my wife obviously has to prepare for the baby, the food and everything else. So that's why we sleep, uh, we sleep separate. OK, um, now, if you are an employee, if you're working for a company, then you'll have a common sleep time and common wake up time. But if you're a businessman or you're someone who does things their own way, then you obviously cannot be together. OK. So now, given that today is a Saturday, today is the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. It's on off for my baby. School is not there. Uh, and my wife is anyway a housewife. So today being a Saturday and Sunday, uh, my house normally, they're very excited. My baby is excited because uh, she knows when she doesn't go to school, they will go out for, you know, uh, it's, it's like her a day out play, you know. She'll go to the shopping mall uh, where there is, you know, for uh, kids play area, they have the kitchen and toys and soft toys, plastic. You know, it's a child safe area. Uh, it's more like an arcade where there are few games and there are many uh, areas for children to play. So my baby loves to go in that area and she might play there for one hour or two hours until she's tired. My baby, for those of you who follow my channel know that my baby is very hyper, okay? She is hyper ADHD and I am absolutely okay with that and I encourage her to show her creativity, although I can't tolerate it because I like peace and quiet, okay? And my wife is exceptionally uh, patient, uh, you know, if I was a religious person, I would say, God bless her. You know, she's a blessing because she really has a patience with the kid. Sometimes my kid talks like for hours and hours and I don't know what all she's talking. Thankfully, she talks in Thai, so I don't have to listen. So they communicate with each other, like a four-year-old with a grown-ass woman. So, um, and my wife is very patient. Okay, 
So they spent time together and um, on a Sunday, on an off day, my wife also likes to take a break. You know, she wants to go out. She wants to eat something outside. Unfortunately for me, I um, my life doesn't revolve around holidays. My life doesn't revolve around weekends. Any day can be a weekend. Any day can be a work day. For me, as long as I have clients, as long as I work, I work. Like many clients ask me, oh, Loy, tomorrow is a Sunday. It must be off day. No, nothing. You are ready to book my services, pay me money, I'm ready to work. Uh, it, it can be at three in the morning if I'm awake. It, it can be at one in the night. It can be whenever, mutually, if we agree upon a time. For me, work is work. I love working. I love what I do. And um, holidays for me is more like a liability. For me, when I think of holidays, I don't enjoy it because I love my work. Okay. So now, um, given that, you know, my Baby has a separate to-do list, like, oh, play, enjoy, go out and all that. Because she's a child. Uh, my baby is a kid, a four-year-old. And given that my wife has a different set of priorities, because she's a housewife, most of the time she's sitting at home. And thankfully, she is not a person who loves to socialize. But being a human being, she loves to go out. She loves to eat some nice food. She loves the special moments outside. So, you know, and it's not that I am stone-hearted where... I say, no, nothing. Even I enjoy going out with the family. However, work takes priority, center stage. And uh, yes, it's kind of nice when you can go out with the family, eat together. Uh, it's more like you switch off, switch off your brain from all the creativity work. Sometimes it can be a little overwhelming. All right. So now uh, uh, I've, I've given you the different roles each one plays. Baby is a baby, wife is housewife, me, I'm a content creator. So now what happens is, uh, given that we three are three different individuals, we three also have our own goals. From baby is fun, wifey is, you know, just be happy, do the work, but be happy. But for me, as a content creator, as the bread earner for the family, I think in terms of money, which is obviously, you know, you're paying the bills. Then I think in terms of my brand. Then I think in terms of, uh, let's say, video content that I'm creating now. Then I have to think about, oh, clients. Then I have to think of what is next. Then I have to do analysis. Then I have to do studying. Then I have to do, and even in terms of, let's say, fitness. For example, I want to maintain my health. I'm very uh, focused about it. So my diet plan, my exercise, going to the gym, you know, I have to plan all this out because it takes time. Uh, however, my wife doesn't care about doing exercise. She just doesn't, she doesn't do any exercise. Okay. Um, for her, she can, you know, she'll eat anything and everything. And she's very happy, happy-go-lucky. She doesn't care about exercise. But I do. Now, so there we have two different set of value systems. Okay, food. Like I might get up and I'm thinking of ketosis. I'm thinking of... Uh, Okay, I need to fast, you know, because I follow intermittent fasting. Uh, so I get up in the morning and I'm thinking of drink my black coffee. Uh, I finish my work. Okay, then I can do my exercise, go to the treadmill, go to the gym, come back, plan out for six in the evening. But my wife, when she gets up, she's more like, what will I eat? I'm serious. Huh? This is her actual concern. What will I eat? Should I go to the market? Should I do some shopping? Should I have soup in the morning? Should I eat at a, uh, you know, small restaurant uh, or should I? She normally brings the food home. And then obviously my baby, when she wakes up, baby is also just like mummy. Oh, what will I eat? So there are goals are separate. So they are eating house smells of food. I'm thinking of exercise and controlling myself. Okay. Then morning, I after I finish my work, now I'm doing the videos. It's, it's five in the morning. Um, I would be, after I finish my video editing, uh, uploading my videos, I would be, uh, going to the gym uh, 30 minutes and then on the treadmill for one hour. So I have my headphones and I am focused on doing my exercise. But just imagine I'm doing my exercise, the treadmill in the house while my wife is eating food that is, you know, having the aroma all around the house and she's watching her on her smartphone. She's watching some TV program 
my baby is watching her cartoon or educational program and she is also eating okay so two different personalities then by the time i finish my treadmill uh, my wife has finished her food uh, then comes the next part that is okay what is next so my baby will be running around and my wife will be cleaning the house i'll lock myself in my room okay uh, then if a client calls obviously i have to tell my wife listen i need quiet she knows that because we have been together now for 5 6 years so my wife might take my baby in the room uh, so as to avoid less noise they'll give her a tablet um, then after if i finish with my client uh, then you know what is next i need to plan out for my wife it'll be oh i need to plan out lunch for my baby it'll be mummy mummy i want to go to the you know store and buy something fine then towards the evening 4 uh, o'clock it is again go to the market and buy something um, there i take a break and i might either accompany the family and then when we come back by the time it's 6 uh, or 9 o'clock depending when i want to break my fast i tell my wife what i want and i'm mentally you know exhausted because intermittent fasting you know you do feel hunger pangs uh, and my baby is still you know hyper so when i'm eating food in my room in my office or whatever i like to be peace and calm you know i just like to watch a movie i like to eat without being disturbed but my baby keeps coming hey papa what are you doing that and this and that and papa this and papa that and you, you know how kids are so my wife drags the baby out and gives her something to be busy uh and then obviously as i'm eating my wife is also eating but she eats separate i eat separate um and then by the time it is finished my wife will if school is there next day she has to put the baby to sleep by 8 o'clock or 8:30 so it's done and my day actually is not yet over so i'm planning out what is next and i'm thinking now i know all this sounds very uh, normal for most of you people okay especially who are married and especially who have family but what is the underlying uh, aspect that i'm sharing this now i have a different set of goals weight loss okay maintaining my weight my wife doesn't have any goals of weight loss nothing she just she'll just eat whatever okay i have um uh, a different time get up and sleep she has a different time i have a different set of goals like i want to earn x amount of money x amount of clients put this kind of content my wife doesn't have anything my wife is just okay get up and make sure the baby goes to school and clean the house and uh, have quality time where she is eating and watching a movie you know her life is that way i would definitely research and find new books or educational material that i want to study my wife doesn't have any such the thing of reading or studying okay then um, i constantly evaluate the future and i have stress and worries of oh the market is going to be like this things are going to happen like that my wife just is happy go lucky she just doesn't know she'll just tell me this is what happened in the village this is what they said or this is what my family said uh, which i'm not interested anyway um so when you're talking of two different individuals two different priorities i just spoke about me and my wife and then obviously the element of the baby now think of a situation where our goals clash for example i told you that i practice intermittent fasting i do not eat anything until let's say 6 in the evening or 9 in the evening now just imagine they are eating food in front of you it's not easy now i'll tell you for example today is saturday now obviously i'm planning out okay videos then clients and work and all that but my wife definitely would want to go out now she can go alone with the baby but she would be even more happy if i come along and consider this me as a human being even i like to go out i you know i would like to ha- have a relaxed time you know once a while we i would like to uh, i would really love to go to a nice restaurant you know one of my weaknesses is burger king i love burger king okay i really like their uh, angus uh, beef burger um the australian the thing uh, beef uh i also like uh, going to yayogi which is a japanese restaurant 
where they serve you know bento kind of meals like they give you meat or fish with rice or vegetables they give you soup uh, uh, yeah, you know um, it it's it, it comes as a package i i like that uh, however if i were to join my family for that then obviously i'm not intermittent fasting now you might say loy it's good once a week take a day off yeah and i understand it's it's not that i don't want to enjoy i definitely want to enjoy like i'll tell you yesterday yesterday it really felt like going for burger king i really felt it i really wanted very badly and you know you have the days where your body just craves um carbohydrates or sugar or you know especially when you're dieting but you know when i'm thinking of i'll go and have a burger i think of my baby my baby loves french fries okay even i like french fries from burger king but then i was thinking if i go and eat alone my poor baby is not with me cheesh man that's bad yeah you know and obviously my baby wouldn't know even if i went and came back but my heart would when i'm eating that burger i would think that my baby would be here should be so happy eating with her papa i can't go alone man and i'll tell you this even though my wife has told me you know you go you enjoy and sometimes she tells me just go you, you enjoy it. my wife will not come because obviously she'll also feel bad the baby will not come so obviously and here's a funny thing even though i can go alone and who's there to question me i also don't feel like going because i think the poor wife is she is alone and then i think of the poor baby i mean who she has nobody so that's why i didn't go even though i wanted to go yesterday and today it's more like uh, okay i in the evenings i eat whatever i want i did have uh, a nice um, yogurt not yogurt it's like uh, um the convenience store has this new promo where they have condensed milk with uh, ice cream you know they make it a shake so i'm i'm having that now i'm not going hardcore strict on keto so i had it before sleeping i enjoyed it it was nice a slurpy juice um so this obviously when i woke up in the morning i have a little bit of sugary cravings but i can manage but now the the thought that okay they will go out to enjoy why don't i accompany them but if i was alone if i was alone i wouldn't have these thoughts if if i was staying without a wife without a kid i could be very strict with my diet in fact um, if you have followed me for a couple of years you know that the longest i've done fasting without food only water and coffee was 8 days which i don't recommend you do don't do it especially without evaluating you know a professional a doctor or something because uh, especially if you have health issues like diabetes blood pressure all that it can take your system for a whack um so i i had tried that and it was easier then but today it's very hard especially when you're trying to control yourself and you have that smell of the food and people are eating you're like ah how long can you control so now you know these distractions and just imagine i give you one one aspect that is just food that is just enjoyment now back of my head there are two scenarios i'm thinking one is and i can go with the baby and the wife have burger king but then wife likes japanese food oh we can go for japanese food and wife can eat something and i can eat something and baby can eat something um so and remember this when you take your family out it takes time it takes energy and if you are married with uh, kids you know that even going out your your mind is where's the baby where's the wife where are the kids what's happening driving also you have to pay attention on the road you know there are a lot of things it's not just go like a bachelor when you are a bachelor you don't give a damn you just walk and you know dress up the way you like and enjoy but when you're going out with the family you have to keep an eye on your wife you have to keep an eye on the kid and as a family you want to make sure everyone is enjoying and if i do go out that is today i have to take the baby um and plan out do we go to the play area first which is generally recommended and then we go for food okay so the play area will take 1 hour so we end up spending 1 and 1/2 hour and then if you go for food which is another hour okay to us and then if you calculate driving up and down is another 2 hours so 1 2 3 4 say total 5 hours go 
Okay, five hours gone. And by the time I come back into the zone, six hours. So now, given that I've uh, shared with you just one of the challenges of having a family um, and how our goals are different, how our aspirations are different, how our priorities are different. In the same way, um, if, if you as an individual have a family, the question is, are they supportive towards your goals or are they not? If they are supportive towards your goals, like in my case, my wife is 100% supportive towards my goals because she knows I'm the only earning person in the family. She doesn't have anybody else. Okay, her uh, father is no longer there. Mother can't support her. Um, brothers, sisters, nobody can support her. So she's very loyal and committed and we are one beautiful little family. So she's very committed, very supportive. And she, uh, she was very moldable to where now she knows what I want and makes sure that everything is kept perfect. Like even when I want to make uh, a video, she'll keep the baby quiet. Okay. So we are a nice family unit and I focus on how to keep the family happy and the family focus on how to keep me happy. But there are compromises to made. I, I think the right word is compromise. Like I told you, I wanted to go for Burger King yesterday. But then I said, Poor baby, she's gone to school. Yeah, I sometimes want to go and have maybe spaghetti with, uh, let's say, uh, this happened a few days ago. I thought of going, having a nice spaghetti with uh, white mushroom sauce and chicken uh, in an Italian restaurant. But then I just thought of the wifey and I thought, man, she would not enjoy that very much. Uh, what would she like? And then when I think of the wife, then I think, what does the baby like? Then I settle down for, okay. Best would be, we'll go for a Japanese, this thing. And in fact, my wife loves the Thai barbecue. It's an all you can eat. But the problem over there is, uh, you pay around $10. It's not too expensive. Wife definitely gets value out of that because she eats like crazy. She makes sure that she is fasting the whole day. So she eats like crazy. But me, given the fact that I practice intermittent fasting and also because of my operation that I had, I cannot eat as much. Um, so for me, having an all-you-can-eat buffet doesn't make sense. Baby, yes, baby doesn't mind anything. And the baby, they charge less. So baby is negligible. So then we have to balance that out. So the main thing is either your family that you have proves to be a blessing or proves to be a curse. Either your family pushes you towards your goals or they take you away from your goals. Either your family creates uh, a support system or creates distraction. Like a very simple thing I told you about intermittent fasting. Now, you know, many a times I wanted to do a two-day or three-day fast. And this happened just, uh, I think, a few days ago. I, I wanted to do a two-day fast. 24 hours was great. When I came to the second day, I was about to succeed, but then the smell of food and this and that, and I, then I had an irritating client, and then I had another bad thing, and finally got so messed up. I was like, forget all this, let me just eat. So, you know, I was not able to succeed and keep the two days. I wanted it to go three days or more than that. So sometimes it tends to be hard. Sometimes, let's say, for example, I really want to make a video, and then, you know, the baby is a baby. Sometimes her drama and shouting and screaming and uh, then wife also loses her cool sometimes and that can interrupt you. Uh, sometimes I want to go out. You know, I want quiet time. Um, forget that. Many a times when I'm sitting at uh, sitting in my room, let's say when I want to eat my food calm and quiet because I've been fasting the whole day, I'm tired. I just want to relax. And the baby comes in and ah, 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 shouting and screaming and ah. uh, you you want to see a movie quiet and you want to eat quiet. That also is not possible. So there are many challenges. So the, the main thing which I'm trying to tell you is either your family will help you towards achieving your goals or they will distract you away from your goals. Either your family will support you or they will prove to be a hindrance. Either your family is a blessing or a curse. And Lucky for me, I've been able to make those careful choices where the family is not a liability. The family is a blessing. So now, obviously, the question comes, is your family a blessing or is it a curse? Um, you know, for lack of a better word. Or are they 
helping you achieve your goals or are they distracting you towards it? I think uh, you need to be very realistic about this. You need to be very practical. You need to be very uh, blunt about it because uh, many times a family, their intentions are good. But then the net result can be totally something else. Like, let's say, for example, I, uh, out of lots of research, uh, I know for a fact how intermittent fasting is done. I know the impact of sugar, insulin. I've, I've, I've done my bit of research there and I've shown results. My wife doesn't care about fasting. My wife doesn't care about insulin. My wife doesn't care about sugar. In fact, she doesn't know anything, you know, like a normal person. So you see our value system, like I read a lot of books uh, or I do research. My wife has a, her own theories. Now that can cause a clash. So, you know, I, I, I think you need to evaluate, given the fact that your family is different from you, uh, the stuff that they do, can it backfire somewhere? Like I, I, the point I was trying to make with that, I forgot. Um, now I want to maintain my fasting. My wife believes oh, if you fast, it's not very good. You'll have acid reflux and uh, it will eat your muscles, which are the common myths that they have. And why don't you eat? Why don't you just eat? So now instead of helping me achieve my goals, it's just distracting me, right? So even though the intention is good, the intention, she loves me. She wants me to succeed. But the advice, the strategy is terrible. I mean, that's not going to help me achieve my goals. In the same way, many people say, no, no, you, you sleep, no need to work so hard, you know, take care of your health. So the intentions may be good, but it's not going to help you. And, you know, many people say, oh, you pray to God and then you'll achieve your goals or have a balanced life, family and friends. All these are well-intentioned pieces of advice, but it's not going to help you. So I, I think the nutshell that I want to share with you in this video is, is your family helping you achieve your goals or are they distracting you away from your goals? Is your family a blessing or a curse? Are they an asset or liability? And then if in case, let's say, okay, if they are a blessing and good for you, fine, nothing to worry about. But if in case you have a passionate goal or drive a desire and they are proving to be a hindrance, then there is where the problem starts and that is where you need to take Either you have to take drastic measures or you have to take preventive or corrective measures. So I'll make a separate video on this because I, if I were to focus on this, th that itself will take another 20, 30 minutes. So you let me know in the comments section below if you are interested to know if your family is not supportive towards your goals or, you know, you know uh, would you like a video? Then if I feel enough and more people uh, have the interest for that, I'll make a separate video. However, um, if you are in that state, all I can say, you need to take very difficult and very important steps because end of the day, your life is you. You can't blame anyone else for what is happening in your life. Yes, these people are involved. But end of the day, you have to take personal responsibility, total control and ensure that you'll, you're living your life the way you want, true to your values. Otherwise, you'll end up living your life for your mother, father, brother, sister, wife, kid. Then you're just a sacrificial goat, uh, a sacrificial lamp. What's the point? That is why even for me, I'm very particular that uh, I'm not going to sacrifice my entire life, my wants, my dreams, my desire, just for my wife or just for my kid. No, I'm sorry. I have also a life. I have some wants. I'm not uh, one of those sacrificing parents who will sacrifice everything for the kid and kids glory no uh, i'm i'm selfish i'm selfish that way i don't care what anyone says i don't care i'm not waiting for anyone's certificate of appreciation oh you need to dedicate your life for your kids no shut up fuck you i'm, I'm not going to do that a kid has her own this thing my job is within my means i'll give you the best rest you uh, you know work your ass off and get your own stuff so anyway this is what i wanted to share and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below do you think the family does play a very important role in your life. And if yes, does it impact you in a positive way, negative way? Uh, and would you like me to share another video as to if in case your family is not in line or not on board with your goals or what you want, uh, what should you do? 
So if I have enough and more people interested, I'll make a separate video on that. So good, bad, ugly. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think of this video? And what do you think of, you know, uh, put your comments. Uh, feel free. What do you think of the way I think? Because not many of you are very happy with that. But anyway, who cares? But yes, I would be interested to know. Good, bad, ugly. Uh, feel free. And uh, love to read your comments. You guys take care. This is me signing off.